we want to simplify each of the following and write in the form a plus or minus bi, which means we'll be simplifying these expressions using complex numbers. We first want to simplify the square root of negative nine. Well, we can write the square root of negative nine as the square root of negative one times nine, or if we want nine times negative one. And because we have a product under the square root, we could write this as the square root of nine times the square root of negative one. Well, we know the square root of nine equals three, since three squared equals nine. And by definition, i equals the square root of negative one. So here we have three times i, which is equal to three i. So the square root of negative nine equals three i. Next we have the square root of negative seven. So the square root of negative seven is equal to the square root of seven times negative one, which we can write as the square root of seven times the square root of negative one. Well, the square root of seven does not simplify. Seven's a prime number but the square root of negative one is equal to i, so this simplifies to the square root of seven i. And be careful here, the i is not under the square root. So we have square root seven i. Now in some textbooks you may see the i to the left of the square root, but I think it's better to keep it in this form, so if it's the form of a plus or minus b i. Next we have the quantity nine plus the square root of negative eighty one divided by three. So let's go ahead and write this as nine plus the square root of negative one times eighty-one, or eighty-one times negative one, divided by three. After doing this a while, we can probably skip showing some of the work. Since the square root of eighty-one equals nine, and we know the square root of negative one equals i, we should be able to recognize this is equal to nine plus nine i divided by three. Again, square root of eighty-one equals nine, the square root of negative one equals i. Now to simplify this, write this as two separate fractions, nine divided by three plus nine divided by three i simplifies to just three plus three i. And for our last example, we have the quantity seven plus square root negative four divided by three. So we'll write seven plus the square root of negative one times four, or four times negative one, divided by three. So we have seven plus, again, the square root of four is equal to two, the square root of negative one is equal to i, so we have plus two i divided by three. Writing it in the correct form, a plus or minus b i, we'd have seven thirds plus two thirds i. I hope you found this helpful.